Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Rotator, the arena survival action roguelike itself. We are going to be checking out what is not necessarily a new weapon, but is basically a new weapon in 1.0, and that is going to be the hatchet. You'll see in a second what has been changed, but I kind of want to play with the multitasker. It's been a long while, and I really, really like this character. So, hey, hatchet, multitasker, that's the plan. So, hatchet got changed, so it scales off of some attack speed now as well for its damage 75 percent melee and 15 percent of your attack speed it's very very cool multitasker we get 12 weapons the goal is to basically turn into a big dumb lawnmower that's the dream that's the plan that's the goal i know that there's other characters that utilize attack speed like in a more direct way however i really really like to take a lot of attack speed and percentage damage on this character so that should hopefully give us a good clean run um i could go i can't i kind of could go for some life steal i think that could be fun but let's get the flat for now uh bag i'll tell you what i'm gonna get bag as a first ish item why not gentle alien scar we got some weird choices here but i'll, I'll do it i'll do it usually i like to do my hyper rolls in the first few shots but we'll shake it up just hopefully so that I get, uh, if I get a bag this way, then I'll be very, very happy. It's basically what I'm getting at. If I don't, then I'm going to kind of regret my, uh, my purchasing decisions. Or get a, uh, a crate, you know what I mean. Go get the tree, get the tree, get the tree, get the tree. I'm upset. <laughs> upset. Give me the flat melee, grab the hatchet. We're going to go for some hyper rolling for more hatchet. One more roll for one more hatchet, hopefully. And we're good to go. Oh, well. So we didn't get to the tree. The tree might not have even had a crate. We don't need to be too upset about it. The range on this leaves a lot to be desired. Like, that's kind of... That's always been the downside to the hatchet. And it still is the downside to the hatchet. Very close range. Like, does it attack very fast? Yes. But you need to be literally up in their business, which is a dangerous place to be. No crate still. It's okay. Attack speed. We're going to grab that pretty much at all costs. I'll grab some life steal. I think we just buy... Buy things out. I guess I'll go for this. The question is if I want to grab a range up. I'm going to say no and hope that we find... Uh, I don't know. I, I basically like to not care about grabbing range up and then I get like a... I don't know. F not fin. Is it fin? No, fin is speed. Wings. I like to not care about a t uh, range and get wings. Just kind of like fix it in the late game that way, usually. But this may be such a desperately low range weapon that we're going to need to swap that plan earlier than later. God, I... Yeah. The trees are so spread out there. Get some more attack speed. Coupon good. Gentle alien, sure. Hope for a... One more hatchet. No dice? Okay. Could probably go for hedgehog. But I'm going to say nah. Let's go all in on the kind of the attack speed angle. The more weapons we have, the lower percentage damage we have. But if we can fix that percentage damage, we're always in a good spot. That's kind of multitasker for you. I think he's just a, he's a fun character to, to utilize. He lets you shop different. And he really lets the weapon sing. You know, it, it usually, it kind of, it evens out. The downsides of the weapons usually. Can I get a crate, please? Let me guess. Spawn a tree in the corner where I can't get it? Nope. Okay. Just, just no crates. I'm going to say eight harvesting, but not having to roll is a pretty cool deal. Get the extra enemies, another hatchet. Roll another coupon, another hatchet. Never mind. I'll take the, I'll take the coupon now and yeah. Nah, it's probably more logical to buy the hatchet first. If we can't buy both, you want to buy the, the thing that's not the coupon first. Because are you going to be saving money when you factor in the inflation of a wave? Probably not. And then you also get the extra weapon earlier, which may actually get you more money because you get more kills, possibly. So, yeah, I would say that in that situation, the purchase order was... A mistake. Finally a crate. Finally a crate. 
Oh boy. Early game woes. We're not doing tons of damage, but we, you know, attack relatively quick. Cute monkey's fantastic. Ugly tooth is great. And you know what? I'll get it. I'll get it right now. Coffee, good. Sunglasses we could take. Did we get armor up? We got armor up, so I'll take it. Opens up the door. I mean, could we have gone for a post? Sure. But, hey. Do it! But Ugly Tooth, it's not necessarily a for now thing. It's kind of a mini boss thing or a boss thing. More than any... Ooh, anything else here? Can we get a loot goblin or something? Get some more guaranteed value out of my dang old uh, bag purchase. Thank you. The one time I go for it early, I don't get any earlier earlier crates. Okay, chop, 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 chop. You know what would be really good today? Going for like a crit giant's belt angle. Snail, I'll take it. And then sure, I'll take an I'll take an epic speed. Percentage damage to fix the uh percentage damage downgrade we're gonna get for being this character. Currently we have a minus 20% damage. Recycling machine, I I guess so. Okay, blood donation. I just stop it. I can't. Man. Not a great shot for us. And wave eight's gonna suck. Wave eight is the uh, the wave that has, yeah, ranged enemies and the big boys. This is not a good wave for a short ranged weapon. Never has been. Never will be. But like this really, it, I think it hit home how bad this was for like short range weapons when we were playing plank. When we were in our plank era trying to make it good before it was buffed to become good. Yeah, this is, see, this is very clearly kind of a nightmare for somebody who has to be right up in their face. I can't get any of these guys. I have to risk my life, get in there just to have a chance to get rid of the bullet boys. It's not good. Yeah, that was, that was almost real bad. Just trying to get some money though, right? Like, I don't want to just, poisonous tonic is nice. I don't want to just not get anything. I'd rather die than not get money. You kidding me? Here's the good thing, though. Uh, wave 9 should be pretty lovely. We also got a little bit of range up from Poisonous Tonic. I think the Poisonous Tonic may be kind of like a best-in-slot style item for us here today. I'd like to get a crit angle going. I would like to get some attack speed. And I'd like to fix up my range a little. I don't want to invest a lot in it. Blue Goblin. Thank you. But yeah, we're in, we're in a weird spot now. But hopefully we, uh, we'll start to scale silly style. The multitasker's weird. If you have six weapons as multitasker, the character is actually just b bad. Literally has nothing going for them. If you have six weapons. You just have a downside nothing good going for you. So, it makes it so the early game of the character is a little bit eh. We'll take spicy sauce. It got improved. Get some more crit chance. Could I get some attack speed, please? Tentacle. There we go. Making it all worth it. No scaling increase on this weapon. Banner is a little bit worse in my eyes, because I do want lifesteal. But we have tentacle and a cute monkey. Yeah. Tentacle and a cute monkey with two gentle aliens is pretty good. Like, I think that we're going to start uh, rounding the corner now into a better spot. I think that wave 10 will be easier than wave 8 was. And then I think we're going to be kind of, not scot-free, but like Basically, if we can do decently on the mini boss, the first mini boss, I think we are good to go for the whole run. As far as like things are gonna get better. Things are gonna get much better. 
Okay. Yeah, this this wave is feeling a lot better. We're starting to get to the point where we have lots of weapons, so like we're always attacking stuff near us. I wouldn't mind three knockback. Literally just getting one punch glove. Anything more than that I think would be a problem. Speed up range down. I can actually trade a little bit. Uh, percentage damage first. I'll take sunglasses, I suppose. Minigun. I could. Don't really want luck down. I'll definitely take a mastery. I'll take a dangerous bunny. Wait, we already got to 12 weapons? Okay. All right. What is our first mini bu- Oh, what does this guy do? He, like, does a crazy dash? He is kind of an anti-close range boy right here, but not that bad. Oh, okay. This turned trashy for me. What the hell? Back up until we can kill a lot. What is, what is this? Is he summoning all these? I mean, this kind of works well for me. It's a little bit sensory overload, but he's giving me so much free money if I can just live. Um, what is this? Though? What is this? Dude. This boss is crazy. I... I don't know what to think. He basically... Imagine if I had... Look how much money he gave me. What is... I don't know what to think about what just happened. Getting the percentage first... Okay. Man. Okay. That was so strange. A lot of attack speed. I don't think I want to go for Triangle of Power. We can take Tractor this early. I'll get a hatchet. I'll take one boxing glove. Wings. Do I want wings at this point? I have 21 range. More range is a little bit... I'm not going to say silly, but like we don't necessarily need it. I'll take one rip and tear. Range is still good. All right. All right, that boss is crazy talk. If we had hunting trophy, God, that would have been nice. But yeah, rip and tear is going to be a little bit weird. It takes away a little bit of your value from, like, tentacle. I don't think it takes away enough to be worth being concerned about. Now, if I get hunting trophy, I guess I'll be a little bit scared. This run has been really hard so far. Like... I, I'm i not going to say I was expecting this run to be easy, because I think that Multitasker has a, a rough start. I think it's one of my favorite characters because it actually, it's a fun idea that poses a challenge, right? Like, having 12 weapons is fun, and you would think you would make the game easy, but I don't think this is one of the easier characters. There's some weapons that are easier than others. But... Um, I think in general, it's not like a... It's certainly not a free win character like some others. HP regen. Uh, it's meant to finally attack speed. Insanity good. Combine here. I'm not going to care about HP regen, so I will just take that. Another hatchet. Fine. More life steal, more silly. I'm going to be turning into the dumb hatchet tornado. Bloop. But yeah, the Rip and Tear, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it. You know, I'm, I'm more, I'm happy that we got Tractor into Rip and Tear, which I know may seem like counterproductive. But I'm really pleased that we had all that harvesting, so it wasn't that big a deal to lose 12. I hate having no harvesting and then getting Rip and Tear. It just feels bad to be losing 12 materials every wave. Okay. Am I wanting... Am I wanting more range? Rip and tear... The way I look at it, it kind of like... It is a little bit of a range upgrade. It kind of gives you a weird funky cleave. Right? 
Just a just a strange cleave. I'll take a little bit of that. Attack speed up for sure. Uh, sure, sure. I wouldn't mind range up now. Oh, or I could take some range down. That's good, but... I don't have structures, but that gives me attack speed. Explosion size sounds nice, too. We do have rip and tear. It is a relevant thing. No scaling increase. It gets a lot of flat damage up, though. The attack speed doesn't change. The hell, man? Compare this to... Um, the... Not the claw. Is it, yeah, the claw? The fist. The new spiky fist weapon. That thing is just... It just scales so much better. It's not even funny. That thing gets melee damage scaling, attack speed scaling. Uh, it has better crit ratio scaling, or not not crit ratio, but crit chance scaling on it. All of that while having better tags, in my humble opinion. Better tags. Let alone, I mean, well, just, at the very least, just two tags. Going silly with this. Close range melee doesn't love hosts either. You may be wondering, well, what are the benefits of close range melee? Not much. <laughs> um, fine, I'll take the attack speed. I'll get a little bit of armor. Don't really feel like rolling there. Explosion size up sounds good. Uh, well, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. it is an incredibly good combination in the exact same shop that is unfortunately not good on this run yet I, i'm gonna i don't want to play that way today i just don't want to play that way today okay there we set we settled it pick up range i'll go for it especially since we have a little bit of cute monkey okay chef we get a nice free win mini boss hopefully I think I forgot we, we learned last time that Hatchet actually really likes to be manual aimed don't we didn't we don't we didn't we <laughs> yeah I think it does because it's always firing that's the problem with the close range but if you're always moving towards enemies the close range doesn't matter quite as much it obviously takes a little bit more think power. But I think it's worth it. It's even more a manual aim weapon than it used to be, too. Yeah. Yeah, because you're just always going to be attacking. Oh, well. I got to be honest. I don't think I'm going to. I'm not going to. Thank you for all the money, then, I guess. Harvesting it. Sure. Respawn. Explosion size, I guess. Hatchet. I suppose. Dude, I... Fine. Let's try out massive range up. Definitely noticeably a little bit less fast attacking. But that range up is... It's helpful. Just an absolute flurry. Absolute flurry. See, look at that. It's become very, very hard for them to even get into my radius. Because, look at this. I can kind of even attack enemies behind me. Since I can attack enemies behind me, we're in a much better spot there. Just gotta be always holding down left mouse button. I've had some people asking, by the way, what I'm talking about when I say manual aim. There is literally a uh, manual aim on mouse press. If you're playing on PC, dear God, put this on. Put this on. There are some situations in which aiming manually with the mouse, see like you look, I'm attacking to the right. Like, there's some situations where you need to, like, man... I mean, you don't need to, but you can manually aim in front of you and, like, sneak through a path. Like, if you manually aim where you're running, you can sometimes clear a path 
through it as you move through it. Okay, so our speed is capped, so there's no reason to grab that. Life steal up, more enemies up. We actually really like that. Potato? There's nothing wrong with potato. Tardigrade. I don't care. Hunting trophy. A little bit sad in a way that we got, uh, you know, so much emphasis on our um, rip and tear because it's going to steal some money kills, but oh well. It's also wave 17. I don't think that we... Mm. Hunting trophy will pay for itself, probably, but especially with all the extra enemies showing up. Eh. It's a little bit... It's going to be a little bit weird, I think. This wave is significantly less good for us. Just having the, the high health single enemies is less our thing than just tons of small enemies for us to get free tentacle ooh, value from, potentially more rip and tear shots from. Also, my finger is getting tired from the manual aim. But good god, it's so effective. Nah. Uh, nah, nah. Yeah. Do better. Whoop. 89. I think it still pays for itself. Man. Fine, fine. Uh, you know what? Fine. Fine, we get the free reroll as well. Common hatchet finally gets upgraded. Lure, three HP regen, more loot goblins. Which one? Oh well, okay. Okay, back it up actually. Not manual aiming for a second here. Yep. Yeah. Unsurprising that this wave is a little bit spookier for us as well. Okay, good. Like, enemies that have buffer units. Like, look how long it took us to kill that tentacle. It's, it is embarrassing. Release the babies. Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. Another loot goblin. Good. Okay. It's hard to even tell what's happening, man. Nah. Anvil, it's too late, man. Nice. Oh, God. One thought. I'm going to say nah. What's my dodge? 13? I'll take adrenaline. Black belt, I guess. Change the damage. Probably shouldn't have done it. Man, you really wanted me to have that anvil, huh? I mean, I can't deny I I like anvil. It's a fun item. Oh, it might be good. Yeah, that might get kind of dumb. Oh well. Oh well. Also, what did this? Uh, 215. It already paid for itself. Good. Even with the explosions doing a little bit of kill stealing. We can maybe just stand still and. Actually, no, we can't. Not with the big boys. Not with the big boys here. Chop, 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 chop. If the big boys are in a crowd with small boys, they take a lot of overflow explosion damage. So we don't necessarily need to aim that much for the big boys. If they're in a crowd, they'll kind of just go away. Okay. All right. No more manual aim. This is just for money now. Go. I mean, we got a lot. Uh, I'll take a repost. Shirt. Sure. Attack speed. Shirt. Sure. Thank you. Shirt. Sure. Thought maybe there's a chance we had one of those. Uh, black belt, we could. 
None of, I mean, we're on the final wave. N none of this is that big of a deal. I'll take another rip and tear. Another tentacle. Sounds good. Another hatchet. Why not? Um, This is actually really good because we basically didn't get value from that speed anyways. What do we get speed from? Was it potato? I guess it was potato. Charcoal, not bad. Go for it. Alrighty. If you walk into the spinning blade of death, I don't know what to tell you, my man. It's a really satisfying sound. That's... I love the sound of that. Was it strong, this run? No, it was, in fact, one of the most dangerous runs I feel like I've had in forever. Um, but I really liked it, though. It was a really fun one. Just remember, I basically just remember why I like the multitasker so much. It's a spicy character. It's not a free win, but it has some unique stuff to it, and you get to have lots of weapons, and you never cap out... You, very rarely will you ever cap out all of your weapons at legendary so there's always room to improve them i don't know it's just like a fun character and i've always liked hatchet i feel like um endless max wave oh i guess i did play that on that's the only character i played endless on because i don't like endless mode in any game let alone this one uh but yeah i just really like it great character Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.